Textile field is well known worldwide due to its water inefficiency, and it's true. Unfortunately, all wet processes use a lot of water, also scurrying. You might think that a garment is dyed directly after the spinning process, but that's it, it's far from true. Cotton, wool, and the majority of the fibers are dirty once picked up. If you think about a wool fiber, it's so dirty once sheared from the ship that it's almost yellow. So what's the solution? Scurrying can help. Let's see that together. Hey guys, I'm Alberto and I'm a textile technician that lives and works in Italy. Today we're going to talk about scurrying, so what is it? Scurrying is a preparatory treatment of certain textile materials. Scurrying removes soluble and insoluble impurities from textiles as natural, oils, waxes, fats, vegetable matter, as well as dirt. Removing these contaminants through scurrying prepares the textiles for further processes, such as the bleaching and dyeing. Each fiber has its own scurrying that can be caustic soda in case of cotton, scurrying with acid in case of wool, degumming in case of silk, scurrying with scurrying agents in case of polyesters. Scurrying can be with or without bleaching, and bleaching can be with or without optical. You will find several companies that import ready-to-dye or ready-to-print fabrics. These are indeed fabrics that have been woven or knitted and scurred. It's practically impossible to dye or print over a not scurred fabric, because the layer of fats that cover the fabric must be removed if you want your colorant to penetrate deep into the fiber. Also enzymatic scurring exists, but in this video we will talk about conventional scurring with caustic soda. We will take cotton as an example since cotton is the most spread among the natural fibers. Cotton has, for example, 88-96% of cellulose, 1-1.9 nitrogenous substances, 0.31 waxes and fats, 0.7 1.2 hemicellulose and pectins, used for gels present also in the apples, 0.7 1.60 phosphates and carbonates, 0.51 organic acids, 0.1 0.3 sugars, and the rest can be other organic materials. As you can see, cotton is not just hemicellulose and cellulose, so we have to remove all these fats and waxes. How can we do this? To remove all this, we need an alkaline scurring recipe, something like this. Caustic soda, 5 mm per liter, detergent to wetting surfactants, 2 gram per liter, seizing agent, 0.5 gram per liter, diluted acetic acid, 0.5 mm per liter, deionized water to reach a bath ratio 130. Soap is used to remove waxes, caustic soda is used to remove fats, seizing agents are used to remove calcium, magnesium and iron, the ionized water is used to make the reaction happen and acetic acid is used to correct pH value. pH value must be corrected because if you don't correct the pH value, after all this caustic soda, of course the pH value is too high. What's the problem if the pH value is too high? We will see that in another video in the future. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. If you need some consultancy or if you need some help with your textile problems, I'm at disposal naturally. And yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.